Now, let's look at some antenna types and users. As a CCNA, you're not supposed to know all the antennas in the world, but you're supposed to have a good understanding of what types there is and why you would use one or use the other. If you look at the general categories, there are basically two types of antennas. If you need one signal to do one way and go to one direction, you're going to use a radiation pattern that sends a lot of energy there, but that doesn't send too much on the side. Those are called directional antennas. It can send a lot or a little bit, but it's going to send more in one direction. If you put your access point in a room and your antenna in a place where it has to cover all around because it's emitting room again, you're going to use what we call the omnidirectional antenna. The omnidirectional antenna, we'll come back on that, does not necessarily send like isotropic antenna in a sphere, but it sends at least in a 360 degree in one of the planes in the edge plane. As to say, if you look at the access point or the antenna from the top, you'll see it's spreading like a circle all around. Of course, if you look on the other side, maybe it doesn't sphere out. It may be having a, a different shape, but at least in one plane, it will be going in all directions. Let me show you an example back in my backyard. So this is an omnidirectional antenna in the sense that it's, as you see, it's radiating in all directions. Of course, if you look from the side, and that's blinker, you know it's not going to uh, represent a sphere, right? It's going to be more on the flat space. But that's going to be radiating in all directions. So that could be a good example of omnidirectional antenna radiation. You can also do it with that kind of jet, right? If you put that uh, handle uh, to a certain position, it's going to also be radiating in all directions. And if you are looking from the front, you may be thinking that this is also an omnidirectional an antenna in that direction. But you can also change the position to something that would be more directional, and then you will make it a directional antenna, like this. What is important to know is that the amount of water you send does not change from one type to the other. In all cases, I have one water hose that has a certain pressure, and that pressure is going to determine how much water is coming out of this hose. What matters is that the direction is going to be different. So if I send all my water in all directions, it's going to be sprinkled all around. So it's not going to be very powerful in all these directions, but I'm getting everywhere. So it's nice to cover all around me or to use like that sprinkler system at the beginning to water the grass all around the sprinkler. If you put more water in one direction, this has a few consequences. One is that the amount of water is still the same, but the direction is going to be more directional, which means that you're going to shoot farther away, as you can see here in this uh, capture. And as you do so, uh, you will have more power in that direction. So that's why directional antennas are more gain than omnidirectional antenna, because again, the gain measure how much more energy you send in that direction of max power than you would if you were omnidirectional. And of course, you see, because the energy is very focused, you send a lot. The advantage, of course, is that you're very powerful there. The downside is that if you move a little bit on the side, on the left or on the right, you're missing the water. So this is very good when you do a point-to-point -point link in Wi-Fi, when you want to shoot a signal on the mountain, for example, and you want a very directional signal that is very narrow. That means you have to align these two antennas very well so that they see them each other very well, but at least you have one single beam that goes from one to the other. Not so good if you want to cover a meeting room, right? Because the narrowest of the water is so small that you're not going to be able to get the water as you move from one side to the other. So that's why different antennas have different characteristics that depend very much on what type of coverage you want to get from those. One key item I would like you to remember is that the amount of water is always the same. The antenna does not add any energy. So when you see an antenna that has 21 dBi gain, it is not adding any more energy than an antenna that has 2 dBi gain. It's just that the energy is much focused in one direction, and that's what we measure here but the global amount of energy radiated of the antenna is the same, just like my water here is the same regardless of what head I'm using. I'm always sending the same amount of water out. What changes is the direction of the spread.